Why the U.S. needs 11 to 12 aircraft carriers nuclear-powered? The U.S. military wants to keep three carriers deployed at all times, usually with one in the Atlantic, one Pacific, and one Middle East-ish. That requires 11 to 12 carriers in the fleet. No ship or crew can remain deployed indefinitely. Six months at a time is a typical deployment, and at the end of six months, the ship, planes, and crew are pretty beat up. Carrier battle groups are on a three-part rotation, one deployed, one on stand-down recovering from deployment and conducting long-deferred maintenance, and one on workups preparing to deploy. The one on workups is also on standby if needed and can deploy relatively quickly. Okay, so what about the other ones, numbers 10, 11, 12? Well, ships like these require an overhaul every 10 years, updating systems and refueling the reactors. This takes years since these big complex ships take a beating when they're out doing their thing. The Ford class might do a little better on the refueling since they will only need it once in their 50-year lifespan. 